So I just did a reading on like, I guess the person who's been mainly, like there is a significant amount of people who have one person who has been throwing things to the, at them. And one of the people I definitely picked up, because there's definitely been some new energy around and shit. Like I just read that the devil's at the doorstep the, yesterday or the day before, I can't remember which one that is. And it was like, y'all who the fuck is this? I've never met this guy, do you know him? Did you let him? In? Did you let him in here? I didn't know who the fuck was. I'm really curious. And then I decided, oh, I just want to see. Um, <clears throat> well, who would be throwing the most shit my way? Because I know if I have some authority stuff my way, it's gonna show up with y'all too. It's just simple that way. I always pick up stuff that way. Uh, as you, like usually, I figure out what's going on with me through you guys. Honestly, like a month later, but still. Like, it's weird, because sometimes I'll go back to my readings and listen to them and I'll be like, Oh, that's exactly what I needed to know. I, I really need to start listening to myself. I have good advice. And I never do. Um, but that's why my daughter's name was Alice. She takes after me. But, <clears throat> I'm just curious what they're doing. Exactly. This is follow-up to the last one. All signs read, just like last time. You don't want it, don't, don't take it. Just boop the nose way it goes. Don't be coming at me, bro. I don't care. Uh for justice, but there is not. There's a lack of justice here. Someone doesn't want something to end. They don't want to crush that baby. Uh, they're a bit burdened about things. <gasps> this person might be related to the devil at the doorstep. There's the baby. Someone didn't want to face the tower with an infant. So now we're just making it all full back round circle, huh? We're just making it a full circle. <coughs> and that's probably why the motherfucker's screaming for justice, but not really. Uh... Hmm. Man, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, two cards. Ah, someone definitely, like, someone... Mmm, darn. I'll put them both up. Fuck it. This person's terrified of the Emperor. Or something, I don't know. Or maybe someone feels guilty. I'm actually no, I'm gonna I'm not gonna put that there. Like someone could, but it's like why is it if this person is the one with their foot on the devil, why is this other person looking at them like they're a dead fish not trying to um actually face the light? And it's just like Cause nigga, you know it's not yours. I'm just saying, whoever that is. I don't know, I d I don't think this person watches me, actually. I don't think they even know I'm talking about them. Like, that's what I find it feels like. It's like, this person doesn't know who I am. They might not be into tarot. They might not even believe in this shit. They might have their Mercury and Capricorn and be like, astrology is stupid, but they'll accept, like, but they'll play fantasy bo football, and it's just like, oh, it's stupid, huh? <coughs> okay. That's like that one British dude who told a, a carpenter that he was terrible for cutting down trees, and the carpenter was like, well, sir, it's okay, because I could grow trees. And the guy's like, oh, but you could grow concrete. Yeah, take a second to think about it. Just take a second to think about it. I'm not going to spoil the surprise. <laughs> There's no love here. This person doesn't love whoever they're burdening. <clears throat> but they're the ones burdened. Nothing's working. None of the guys, none of the, nothing's working for this person. Like, whoever this is, their guides are either on cocaine, heroin, meth, or yes. One of them. Or all of them. All of them. It, 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 like, nine times out of ten, like, I wouldn't say that they do them all at the same time. But... And that's not me, they're only gonna do one at a time. Mm. 
what's with this injustice? What did someone do? What did they do? What did, what did they do? Yeah, I don't... I don't 30% off teacher. $30 for a, a set of markers. Oh, those are cool markers. That was at the dollar store. <gasps> I need to go to the dollar store. The dollar... The, 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 I will tell you right now. I have... Uh, Sally's no longer sells things for black people. Family Dollar and the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Store and the Dollar General, they all have stuff for black hair. <clears throat> all of them. I don't know what the fuck happened, but we're in the Dollar Store, right? Go there and get your shit. Do it. I'm gonna just go ahead and lay these down and then I'll get like the bullshit out for this lack of love right here. There's an injustice, possibly by a military personnel person, not a soldier, because they don't know how to hold a rifle right. Now that trigger discipline is just... <laughs> it don't exist, it is. <laughs> Okay, but it doesn't, though. Like, look, 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 you can make me cough and stuff as much as you want. I see your hand. That's not where your trigger hand's supposed to go. If you don't like that, I'm sorry, but I'm going to call it out every time, and you're just going to have to deal with it because you should have learned how to hold a rifle. Not a gun, a rifle, because there's a difference. This person, possibly Scorpio, doesn't want to deliver sad news to someone because you're just going to weep in front of the phone. I don't even know how they have, like, a house phone when they just have a cell phone i don't know ten of wands the burden it's a long way carry oh, like look you're gonna carry their dead corpses in front of the other trees what is someone about to make a lesson to somebody be like this is what you, your friend this is what you're gonna look like if you're like your friends like what nigga i swear these cards are cut so weird or something it's like this deck's weird, and I don't know if it's on purpose or not, because it's cut out right here, but it's like, is that supposed to be on this side? Because I'm not sure. It feels like it. Let's see. This person screaming in the middle of the living room. Oh, Lord. Mm. <clears throat> What's the reason for it? They talk shit on you because they know they're not shit. That's why they're upset. That's why they're angry. That's why I think they're doing a lot of stuff. <clears throat> they could have been doing a lot of justice to someone who has worked with the military. I Me, mean, it could be a soldier. It could be. I just... I have feelings about someone holding their gun this way. Like, and like I expect someone to fix their... Mm. I expect you to fix your pocket. I expect you to put your cover away. Oh, I didn't mean to shovel that, but it's whatever. Uh, uh, let me pull something here. Da, 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 da. No, wait, wait, okay. Biting the hand that feeds you is just teenage angst tactics. <clears throat> well, okay. Mr. Trashman, please come get this trash. Oh my god, they're pulling the Natalie Nun. They love to lay hate, love to love to hate. Shit, as much negative energy out the room. Again? I gotta do that again? Okay, whatever. They eat ass like a toaster strudel. But where's my money, Brian? Oh, well, I wouldn't have gone to college if it wasn't for my ho horse. Yeah, I know, right? Like, uh, <laughs> where's my money? Well, I wouldn't have gone to college if it wasn't for my horse. Brian, that had nothing to do with the money I just asked you about. Hmm. I don't know. I, don't, I just... You know, 
it's very rare I have feelings about how people carry themselves or behave because you know it's none of my business like mm, I don't know man I, 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 I got feelings Someone might be portraying themselves as a soldier now that I'm looking at this. Someone could be avoiding the conversation. I think this person's avoiding the conversation with the dude they, they did not have the baby with, but they want to convince them that they did, and it's just like... Uh... <coughs> Is that a good idea? I don't really think it is. But what did I know? I'm just an asshole. I'm just here. Skull shape, the power of a smooth, clean shade in the palm of your hand. What? Of all the weird things. Hmm. Well. There is justice here. Or the there was. Maybe there was an injustice against a soldier or a military person. Maybe it was done by this individual. We're about to find out, though. I don't know if they were previous military or not. Or if they're just pretending, like, stolen valor shit. Oh, no, 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 no. It, it, it's someone pretending. They're like, look at me, butthole. This isn't going to help you. Quit showing people your butthole. Pisces Libra. Someone's just hanging up here, not doing anything. They just want to show off. They want to show their butthole to the world. It's working. Okay, I was about to say, did the music just stop? No, it's a loop. Mm. Someone's, uh, like, too busy playing with the toy. They're a brand new kid, and they just figured out how to play. A person might be feeling a little bit trapped. Their feelings are way too far into shit. This person, oh, and you're yonder, they just want to eat all the bowls or treats and whatever. But then I think they get confused when it's empty. Or someone does. One more on the kitten. Oh, we got a book. What the fuck? The kitten is distracted. So they don't notice that uh, the other cat's eating all the treats. Look at how fat he got. He was already eating out the jar, and now like, look, like they're getting more. That's that's a lot of treats, you know. Someone's like the world is a fair, and this person's like I don't care. I'm doing fun by myself. So then they became a doggo. It was like wolf, wolf, and then all of a sudden, like the person just wanted to be comfortable. But then all of a sudden, they started barking at him. It was just like kitty cats. Like you're not one of us. You're not a real cop. <clears throat> Someone's using their intuition to realize that uh, there is going to be an injustice from the other side. Yeah, whoever this is, they were trying to distract you. Trying to make, possibly trying to make you dizzy sometimes so you were disoriented, you know, like, uh, what was that story of those people who lived in the weird dystopia where everyone was equal to the point where, like, you were given handicaps? And there was this one dude who was the father of the guy who was just like, I am the emperor! Like, he, he had so much handicaps on him, so many weights to keep him from being physically fit, to keep him from, like, using his brain, and he fought all of that. And... She got shot by a chick who didn't need him but still his father was a brilliant man but in his ear would be a device that would go off every 10 seconds so he couldn't keep the same track of thought every time disrupted him never gave him any sleep or any rest you know it's like that it's like you might feel dizzy at times but that's just to keep you from being focused. It's to keep you from uh, understanding what's going on. If you're feeling dizzy, someone's tapping into your energy. Point blank and simple. Someone's getting into your stuff. And it's fucking you up. And it's just like, what the fuck is this? 
what is this? This is not the dress I ordered, but it doesn't matter because it's still like, you know, an issue. With this injustice that came up from this other person so they can get all the treats? It seems as though you have been dealing with other things before you even take the treats that are yours. You only got two, but it's balanced. This person's got ten, and they gotta have someone pet their head while they eat because it's too hard for them to breathe because they were so fat. They ain't, they, like, they ain't even got a neck no more. They need two more skates. <clears throat> now that I want to talk. It could be Aquarius, too. We got Libra twice. Same energy. Uh, Pisces reversed and star. They don't want to knock over the cup. Be like, I need y'all attention. Come here. How strange. It's like they, like this individual needs attention. So they get you distracted and that gets them what they need. And then they're able to communicate or something like that. And it's just like, the fuck does that even mean? What do you want to, like, what, what is with the star? Like it's healing or is they trying to say something? They really don't want you paying attention to what they're doing. Why? Now I'm like curious. You're comfortable. You're just chilling. Like you have a wand, but it's like it's nap time. Fuck that. It's warm. It's cozy. And this person is really obsessed with treats. The like, good news is I'm in here, so in the treats, it's like, mm, bro, why are they, what is up with this person? It's like the possibilities, but it's like they're using you to make their possibilities happen. Like, if you're both staring into the bowl, they see one prospect, but they don't see you in that prospect, but it means having to get rid of you. This is someone trying to fuck with their double. Huh. Hmm. Maybe I should do a, a magical one-on-one on that, because I don't think people understand what they're doing. I don't even, like, a lot of times your double won't even look like you, but they, it, but it's an energy. You always feel it. It's like, when you meet them, you don't know if you should trust them or not, but you give them a try, and then later on you find out, oh, that was a terrible idea. I need to stop living like Jesus. I need to stop being like peaceful Jesus and start being the Jesus that flipped tables and beat priests with belts. <clears throat> That's the god I worship. <laughs> oh, that's too many. Alright. This death card reverse. Get the sad news. Someone doesn't want to hear it. Someone doesn't want to hear it. Is someone hoping that this bad news that's going to come in? Or... Because someone isn't killing out this child. But it, that's the sad news. I also got to deal with that kid thing I was talking about too. Someone isn't afraid to leave someone's plate empty. This person might be scared. This, whoever might be on that side? No, not so much. <clears throat> There's a fear, too. I don't know, that some, was someone trying to make you afraid of something, too? Was that what this person's doing? Because this doesn't feel as much with the um, father scenario, even though the father scenario, that's in the background. Right. This is mainly what they're doing with you. What they're using it for. The possible reasons. Are you fucking- Are you sending them shit back? Are you sending them shit back? Because obviously you're not scared. But you're not cutting off the connection. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um. I'm not going to say that's a terrible idea. What I will say is, is if, like, much like with any other spell, kind of like a binding, right? Um. Once you do a certain spell on someone, like a binding, or like, is something to get their attention, or even a tag log, like, you know, blood and tea and coffee and shit, weird stuff like that. You're kind of, you, 
you're, that person's kind of your responsibility. So I understand what this person's doing, but I don't think that they know what they're doing. However, you're not scared and you're not severing something off. And that's what's making them sad. It's like they can't collect anything from you. And it's just like, I ain't never scared. Like, you know, you're going that hard. And it's just like, what are you all doing? What are, are you guys sending things back to people? Because that's keeping you connected to them. Which some of you, cool. I completely understand it. Like, I'm not going to knock you for it if that's what you want to do. But, uh. <clears throat> Imagine that, like, they've done so much shit to you, and, and, and like, you're just, like, a Showtime commercial. It's what? Time to start a new chapter. Yeah, true. Like, yeah, you're trying to start a new chapter. That's basically what that says. It, 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 like, it's kind of necessary. Like, how many times are you going to go back and forth with somebody, um, before you're done? You know, I, I like I've been having an issue with like someone at work the last few weeks. I wouldn't say a month, but it's definitely been the last few weeks. And it's like every time I turn around, this person is like less and less friendly to me. And, but they'll go talk to anyone else. And at some point, like today, I was just like, hey, did I do something wrong to you, man? Like something happened and this person just gave me a half-assed answer. And it was just like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not going to try anymore. Like, like you seem cool but apparently you're not cool with me and then later on they wanted to try to be cool with me and it was just like oh so now you want a chance okay <clears throat> now you want to talk but it was one of those things that bothered me it was just like don't we sit here making me think that you feel a certain way towards me either you're gonna talk to me about it or we're gonna fight i'm kind of sick i'm like I'm, I'm too old to be sitting here worried about people's feelings at this point if you got an issue with me you gotta bring it out to me i'm tired of like people like like for me i don't like it when people keep trying to like be angry but not want to do anything with that anger at this point you know it's just like like you could be only be angry for so long like i've been an angry person for a very long period of time in my life and it gets old <clears throat> but it's irritating when someone who's old enough to not be angry stays angry at everything and then it's just like i just want my peace i just want to be happy i just want to make jokes i just want to like have fun People are rude. I can't stand it. I don't know. It's just one of those things where it's like, if you have a problem with someone, you should need to talk about it. Like, don't be doing that silent treatment shit. Like, because after 30, you can't do that anymore. You gotta start, like, voicing your opinions and shit. If you can't talk to someone, you probably, um, shouldn't be around them. People get offended by that. People, like, I don't know, the human species, everybody wants to talk. Everybody wants people to talk to them. And it's just like, yeah. And you kind of have to. I know it's tempting to just be like, I can't talk, I'm a mute. You know, like, just start signing, like, pretend you can't hear them, pretend you're deaf, but you can't. You can't avoid humanity. I have tried. It's impossible. Somehow they always find you. And they do the most annoying shit that you would be surprised a person would do when they're around other people. And so you just gotta deal with it. But it's not fair to people if you don't speak up with what's actually bothering you. Because let me tell you, if you don't tell someone what's actually bothering you, you're gonna start lashing out and you're gonna start acting a certain way with them. And that person's gonna be able to pick it up. They don't even need to be intuitive. They can just watch your behavior. You know, if you've been around a person long enough and all of a sudden they start changing their vibe around you or acting in a certain way or acting like you need to leave them alone, that, that, that'll, that that's who they really are period on that too <clears throat> so they can't even come up and tell you about like why they're acting different and i'm not talking about like it's subtle things i mean like flat out like personality change that's who they really are you don't want to deal with that kind of manipulation it's rude like, it's different if it was, like, a husband and wife or something, and, like, the bitch was really mad. And she's just like, I just, I can't talk to you right now. You're annoying me. You got my nerves. Oh, well, that's abusive. No. Not when you live with a person. You're just like, I need a few days to calm down. It's been 16 years, and you've done something to piss me off after this song. Like, <laughs> like, 
you know, <clears throat> I ain't never scared. And I'm, uh, mm. Did I just ask you guys if you return shit back? And that might be why you're connected to this? Yeah. Okay, look, you're right. I ain't gonna fault you for what you did before. I can't even be mad about that. It doesn't even matter. Uh, you defended yourself, yes. Magically, sure. <clears throat> Maybe even put out a hex, cursing the cross, whatever, right? Um, don't do that anymore. Don't do that anymore. You see how the key it fell in the toilet? Page of Cups reverse. It makes you feel worse. Which I think is what they're intending. This would be a great time for restraint and not throwing your magic everywhere because I'm feeling like they're catching it like a cum sock, you know? Think about it. Put all that energy into it and just like, Ugh, and then like it's in a sock. And, and now this person takes that sock and starts beating you with it. Kind of like that. Like, like, stop with the sock. Stop with the sock. Because, uh... Kind of like when Bastion was given all those wishes, but he didn't know all those wishes took away his memories. But in the end, he wished for, like, what the fuck her name is to have a heart, and that, like, saved it. But it's also, like... I don't understand how that worked. At all, but you know, it's whatever. <sighs> yeah, if someone throws magic your way, don't throw anything. Because I feel like they use that some. I like, I'm not sure how they're using it, it's like they're anticipating. What you're doing it's like they show their butthole somehow then they like that's the distraction so they can get what they need and then they spill the cup and it's like mm. burdened with this long way showing dead bodies to their friends you know that's the magician here but someone was like no I don't want that magician fuck that your tricks are stupid mmm interesting all right, well, I don't want to hear you know. <laughs> uh, this person said that their traits are very good, but they won't even share with the one they were, um... Who sat there waiting for them. What? Hmm, very interesting. Are they eating it? No, but they're very much disturbed. Hmm. Y'all, look at right. This is what I'm kind of getting here, right? This person's been throwing shit your way, whatever it is. They've been catching your magic. What, an, what a brilliant idea. They've been consuming every magical thing. It, it's like they've been trying to be a cipher. Or just a, a, a collection agency. There's something behind them. You know, that's probably why they're so goddamn fat. Because they've been, like, taking up all your shit, too. How much weight did they gain? How much weight did this individual gain? Someone gained weight from what they were consuming from you. Your energy, your time, your methods, you cursing them out, you telling them, like, no, I, I have a neck, you don't. I don't know. Um, your ass is as flat as cows, and I can tip you over. I don't know what it is you could say or send to a person, but it's like whatever energy you give to this person, you need to absolutely goddamn stop. And I don't know if you know this or not. They have consumed so much of your energy, and I don't know if you're an energetic person like me or not. When you get on the roll and you're just like, I'm gonna do awesome things and stuff. But it's like, um... 
they ate so much of your of, of whatever it, that makes you you that they they got fat. I think they also played the sympathy card with the booty hole. Well, like not with their booty hole, but like just showing the booty hole and be like my booty hole. And they got, like you know that they, they were doing. <laughs> They were doing that kind of thing. It was a total distraction to get you to help them out. But I almost feel like they used that kind of thing against you. If you, I feel like if, even if you aren't scared, don't engage with them. You're going to fall in the toilet. You're going to be surrounded by shit water. And I don't think anybody, like, I don't care, but I don't think you want in the shit water. The fucker will knock you right in. However... I don't think they're able to consume your stuff anymore. And Page of Wands reverse or something back there that's like trying to get their attention now and they're scared of moving or maybe they just can't move. I don't know. They're a pretty fat cat. <clears throat> and Aquarius could even be telling you about it too. Alright, so someone wants to go all the way off in the living room. Uh, about how there's a bad... Well, no, that's a betrayal, like, but it's like someone got stuck up there. It's like someone grabbed the cat and was like... And left. And the cat's like, way, wait, wait. Like, it's definitely a self-betrayal sort of thing, but... Hmm. Oh, shit, don't get comfortable. Do not get comfortable with them swords, with them thoughts, with them words. No, 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 no. This is a person who thinks that they know you better than you know yourself, and that's just... That's uh, just annoying. Like the camera right now. That's just annoying when someone sits there and it's like, Well, I know you're like this, and I know you're like that. And it's just like, you don't know anything about me. You know, you're like, the only reason to talk is shit is because they're not shit. So it's like... <coughs> Does anything they say really have any value to you? You know, like, they don't even... I, do they even know who you are or anything about you? Because it seems like they just take whatever they can from you and it's going to feed off of it. And I feel like it's a very bad idea to get into confrontation with an individual because I think they've been waiting for it. You know what I mean? Like, someone's been waiting for you to fuck up or something just so they can go after you or just to make you uncomfortable or just to see you a certain type of way. Don't engage in that, just uh, fuck it. Oh, there's a book. Their intuition lets them know that if you bit them back, it would be an injustice, and then they can start barking about secrets. Y'all have secrets? What secrets? What se- Hold up, hold up. What, what secrets do you have that they know about? That you like pets? The Wheel of Fortune is turning. Wait. Nigga, what? <laughs> are you fucking serious? Are you, are, are, are you serious? Okay, so look, you're right. I'd say do not engage in an argument with this person, but even if you did, they're showing that they were comfortable with you. But as they keep talking, keep speaking over time, they realize all these bowls that they have doesn't really fit the fancy. Bitch, they got so much information on you and it's like they can't even use any of it against you. I don't, I don't know what that means. How do they know some of your secrets but it's like, it's like, are they gonna publicly like humiliate you and be like, I have all this information on this person and you need to know how terrible they are. And then they start listing shit off. And you're just staring at them and it's just like, oh, okay. But I feel like if they do this, I'm just saying, man, like they might try to agitate you into engaging with them. I would not because either you're going to go off and it's going to sound like you're an asshole or they're going to go off and start rambling stuff off and they're going to be the asshole. I would suggest you shut your mouth. 
because nine times out of ten, they're taking whatever it is you give them, words, actions, and they're using it 100% against you. They're fulfilling themselves off of your work ethics, your patterns, what you do. They want to take your personal shit and make it a business. Like Mari, like I said before. And it's just like, motherfucker, you have problems back home. And you're worried about a whole other... Like, because this is a continuation of the person whose kid does not belong to the dad. This is what they've been doing to you. I was just looking to see who it was before. But, um... This is what they've been doing. Like, are you good at your job? You're probably stuck in the boss's dick. <clears throat> uh, oh, you got in this position? Oh, well, you lied on a bunch of people and made them lose their positions. That's what they're probably saying some shit. I feel like this is work, too. I feel like you could possibly even work with this person and it's just like what the fuck and it's just like who watches someone this hard to talk shit about them you know like that's weird how much like I, well yeah their life sucks but still it's like how much more does it have to suck that you're stuck in, like trying to ruin someone else's life to the point where you ignore the fact that you're about to go to the trash like, this person's been slipping, feeding off of you. And, I, and I'm and i telling y'all right now, if they start something with you or they want to start something with you, you keep your fucking mouth shut. You be as nice as you can be. You just be like, well, I don't know why you're upset with me. Could you please explain it? Because I thought we were cool. You know, and they can say a whole bunch of stuff. And it's just like, oh, well, I don't know. Uh, you blocked me. Well, yeah, you're kind of toxic. There, and, that, and that right there is going to get them on a roll. If you are, if you come to this individual with compassion, they're going to go off. And then you're going to know exactly who they are. Don't get comfortable yelling at this person. Uh, they're going to clip the truth up in you. Um... They want to make you look like a bad guy. That's why there's a... Sus. Mm. I could be a thought about... Mm. Yeah, this isn't cool. This is not a good person. Look at how proud they are. Could also be involving a Leo as well. Uh, was there anyone else? Yeah, Leo, Sag, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm. Yeah, this... Look, you need to just keep, you need to keep your mouth shut because someone's feeding off of you. This could be somebody going back and telling people things. Hmm. This is gonna be somebody who's taking everything you say and your words and using them against you like they're the court of law. But in the worst possible way. Don't be telling anybody nothing. Don't be talking to anybody. Don't engage with them. Don't do this. Don't do that. Leave them the fuck alone. And if you think this is a friend, they're probably not your friend. <clears throat> hey, baby. Hmm. There's commitment here. Nothing's growing, though. There's a commitment not to grow. <sighs> Me's a cute doggo, but I got feels. I was a faith. Let's go outside. The, the dog is faithful. We're gonna go the fuck outside. I, like, I'm pretty sure we're gonna step outside, talk in the parking lot, Vaseline all over my face, uh, my hoodie up. I don't give a damn if it's hot. That's not gonna bother me. 
let's go have a talk and just put this stuff in a coffin. I don't like how this dog is looking. Is it just me, or, or in this reading, it's just like it's trying way too hard to look friendly? Have faith. This person will literally go, as they walk by you. Because I had someone do that to me today, and it was just one of those funny things where it was just like, was that supposed to offend me? Like, this person started laughing really loud. At some point, I remember it, and it's just a random person. It's not a person I'm actually dealing with, but it was just like one of those things where it's like, they're an uppity person. Um, and they like to pretend to be people's friends. You know, you can kind of tell. It's like when they get with a new person, they'll get all giggly and loud and happy. But in reality, it's like. You just want to know about my traumas and triggers so you can use it later. You know, it's one of those things with a person. Like, that's the example I'm using. Not that this person actually does that, but that's just what I'm saying. It's one of those things. They didn't make that sound, though. And that was just like, that was stupid. I didn't even tell him it was stupid. It was just like, I just ignored it. I was too busy reading a book anyway. I just happened to hear it. It was just like, I'm not paying attention to that. I'm fucking 36. I do not care. <laughs> but it's but it's like that. It's like, they might make a sound. They might do something to get on your nerves. They might, like, behave a certain way whenever you walk by. And it's just like... You know I could put you in a jar, right? But don't do that. Don't tell them that. Don't say that. Don't do nothing like that. Because that's how they feed off the shit, you know? It's like they need that kind of energy from you in order to thrive. Mmm. You know, anyway. I'll talk to you guys later. You be safe, stay suspicious. Do not engage with this individual at all. I don't care if they send spells to your death. I don't care if they're trying to kill you. I don't care if they're talking nonsense to you. You it, like What people say and think about you are none of your business. Yes, I know, but be free. You shall get your shot soon, sir. But yeah, don't, don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, because that's what they want you to do. You know, attention seeking. It's the only way they feel relevant, you know. It's almost like they're an NPC and they want to be part of the cast. I don't know, man. I, I'd be careful. I would not engage. Just let them do what they want. Let them... Uh, ridicule you, you know, like the enemy, my enemies are in the hands of the Lord, and he will beat the shit out of all the motherfuckers like their priests in the church that they were gambling, and I'm just saying, like, some people are taking a gamble, and you know, Jesus has that side of them to where he don't care, he got whipped later but he made sure that everyone knew exactly how he felt before it happened, that's all I'm saying, anyway sorry about the camera, but I'll touch you guys later Bye-bye.